Yes, sir. One of the goats has entered the chat. Press F to show respect in the chat. Do you know it's Gogeta? Super Gogeta is in the chat now. Everybody put your hands up. You know how it go. The second best fusion. Just to put that out there. Vegito is still number one. <coughs> Unless we're talking Super Saiyan 4, but we're not going to get into that. We're here. Playing PvP with Super Gogeta, showing him off like he's 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 great. Like he's not a legendary finish character. He's just a blue character, and he came out to flex. That's what he was on. But really, Gogeta is just a cool card. Like when he came out, everyone went crazy for him. I don't really have to explain too much, but I'm going going to explain so much because Gogeta deserves it. He deserves it. So he's a blue unit, and you know, considering that the Broly movie came out. The Broly movie is insane. If you haven't seen it, I don't know why you haven't seen it. You should go watch it. But Gogeta was just doing that madness. And this isn't even Gogeta Blue. So imagine when Gogeta Blue drops, which is why the title says soon blue. Like it's like, what? How can they offer us more? But this Gogeta here, he only transforms to Super Saiyan, which is the same as in the movie. Gogeta did go Super Saiyan first before Blue. So I'm assuming we're gonna get a Gogeta that goes Super Saiyan into Blue maybe for christmas because speculation goes around that we're not done for the year we might get something for christmas or new years or the anniversary because right now they've been given a lot of stuff they've done a big update with rose and legendary finish vg i almost forgot for a second and they've also added the guilds the co-op mode but everything all around is just overwhelming the zenkai awakening how can i forget about that but literally they're just doing a lot and considering that they added a new co-op mode and the enemy is actually broly it makes sense for them to release bro um not broly a gogeta like a, a gogeta blue it makes sense now i i would i would have originally thought that they would release gogeta blue alongside with vegeto but then again i could counter that and say they wouldn't because if they do that together it kind of wastes the amount of banners they can release and the amount of money they can make because they'll do it all at once when they can just do it separately and still get the same amount of hype because Gogeta Blue and Vegito Blue would just literally break the game like Vegito was so strong that he couldn't maintain the, the Patara fusion and Gogeta is just Gogeta like Gogeta, Gogeta Blue didn't get hit once perfect win that's what it was like he's greatness but in this video I've got two pvp gameplays i believe no three i've got three pvp gameplays and i'm just showing off that gogeta is still a, a usable unit inside this metal like i haven't run into many gogetas the only time i really run into him is if i'm running a fusion team but i don't even see a lot of fusion teams and more time when i do run fusion teams people just run vigil vigil and gotenks because gotenks is aids and vigil super vigil is aids and then the red vigil actually helps out super vigil so why not you get but um on that basis gogeta's key blasts are insane i've got another video dropping on bardock but i don't really want to speak on it but when he switches in from bardock like the crits are insane especially with his special skill which actually increases the amount of damage or the duration of his special move like it gives you that crazy animation that he done in the movie instead of just a short one so when you do that and you switch him from Bardock as well, like literally you could take down half anyone's health or even over a quarter if there's type advantage, which is a lot for just one card. So just the fact that he can do that, I just feel like he's a top tier unit. I would still put him at like a S tier, me personally. I should be ranking all these units that I play with and all these teams. Gogeta is definitely an S tier. Z tier is a bit... I think that'll be reaching because he's not exactly unstoppable. He don't have the strongest defense, let me say. So he can be beaten. But he's still a very good unit. If you have him, you're very blessed to have him. I think I've got him 3-star or 4-star. 
I really want to get a five star. But now that the new system with the stars and whatnot, I think just getting him to three thousand would just be getting him to seven star. So the stars for him probably gone up. He's probably four star now, which is good for me. <laughs> more benefits for me. But then the people who had in more stars already, they're just gonna be shooting through the roof. But besides from that. I don't really have much more to say apart from he's really good in the fusion team but I wouldn't just use him on the fusion team I would use him alongside with Bardock because Bardock just makes him that much stronger but besides from that I'm on this grind maybe my speculation will be correct and Gogeta Blue does come out hopefully he does like if Gogeta Blue comes out the way my luck is I'm pulling everybody I get every Legends Limited unit but let me not jinx it before I just get shafted because Gogeta has to be, Gogeta Blue has to be a Legends Limited unit. He has to be a Legends Limited I can't see it otherwise. Like, the way he, he would have killed Broly. And it was definitely Vegeta inside Gogeta's brain, like, kill him. From the beginning of the film, Vegeta was trying to kill him. But Goku was just like, now nah, let's test his strength. Like, but it's understandable. Like, he's pretty much innocent and just got manipulated. Sorry for the spoilers. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video. Hopefully you stay for the rest of the video like I was gonna say earlier before I continue talking I'm on this grind trying to get 500 subscribers by the end of the year I posted the video just the other day, but I've actually only got basically 30 left to get So if you're here press the subscribe button I would really appreciate it because I'm dropping bangers every day this month and probably continuing to drop bangers like at daily like it's almost become a habit I've been dropping videos every day since November so if you just press the subscribe button i'd really appreciate it and you'd actually benefit because you'd, you'd be getting this heat in your subscription feed but besides from that like the video if you haven't liking the video actually makes me like want to make more videos regardless i like making videos but it gives me that extra push you know and comments mainly do have the best output towards me because i feel like with comments you actually tell me exactly what you want or how you felt etc etc so if you can comment please comment i'll definitely read it and reply no matter what but yeah besides from that hopefully you enjoy the video and if you subscribe or not i'll see you in the next one
fool of me! The Patara really are something, huh?